happy Wednesday. It is a midweek quick episode that I am coming at you guys with this week. The episode talking about my purpose will be coming on a very special date at the end of the week. If you're listening to this, then it is on Friday, May 27th. Very special date. That episode is coming. A full episode is coming on Friday. But I wanted to touch on the four P's of purpose. And I want to do that through the testimony of a dear friend of mine who passed away in 20 December of 2020. And he was such a huge factor and a huge part in my faith journey. Um, He was such an encouraging spirit and such a bright light in this world. And he fought so hard. He passed away from cancer. And there were times in his fight where he um he was just he he carried himself with such grace he always had a smile on his face no matter what um he was going through he was going through so many treatments and just so much um as he was in the fight um for his life and so much so that instead of being so bogged down with the thought of this terminal illness i mean it was stage stage four cancer lung cancer and um he basically he always has loved music i've known him since i was about 18 19 years old and in college he came out with a um album called submarine dream operations and i will never forget like he's always had this this ear for music and this love and passion for music and actually I want to say there's five P's to purpose and passion is one of them he um used this pain that's another one I'm getting ahead of myself right now but he used the pain that he was experiencing in the fight for his life for good he was so passionate about music and about making beats and about spreading the message, the gospel, and uh, through his faith and, you know, believing that God will heal him, whether it be physically or spiritually or both. He just believed for God to come through in his life in a mighty way, and God did. You know, he lived a life well lived like God I know God said well done to him once he got to heaven and so through his 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 pain through the passion um, of his music to fight through this thing he he held on to God and he held on to his promise that he had for him that's another p in purpose there's a promise attached to your purpose there's also peace and prosperity I'm telling you Julian Fletcher, I I didn't even say his name yet, Julian Fletcher was always just so elated about life. And this was even before the cancer. Like, what I'm saying is he did not allow the cancer to alter his outlook on life. Not one time. Every time you saw him, every time I saw him, every time I saw a photo of him, he just illuminated this light and it was literally the joy of the Lord. No matter what circumstance he was in, he was not going to let that deter, you know, his perception of life and knowing all that God had for him in his life. He was prosperous in his purpose. He had peace about his purpose, about his circumstance, about how he could spread the good news of of our lord and savior jesus christ and god and it it just i always every night i would pray um that his testimony would change millions of lives and i i i still believe that and it's through his music and it's through um the testimony in his music like i'm going to link I don't know if you guys know, I usually 
link or rather note in the show notes, like an episode song um, in episode scripture. I'm going to link some of his music in the show notes and I wholeheartedly encourage you guys to listen to it. It just is so beautiful. Like it's so beautiful. And so the four P's of purpose, rather five now, um, Julian has made me realize passion, his passion for music. That's the first P. He used this passion for music, really the gift. There is a gift in your purpose. And he used the gift of making music, writing music um, to express his passion and his love for God. And that's the first P of purpose. Um, The promise attached to your purpose, uh, the prosperity and the peace. And, you know, as believers, pain, we are going to experience pain. Um, We are going to experience things that may not feel so great. They will not feel great, but we have to carry our cross and walk with Christ and he did that so so beautifully it's it's crazy to even say like the the amount of light that's all i can think of and all i can say he was such a he was grateful in all circumstances in all situations in all things he was so grateful he exuded gratitude he exuded he exuded gratefulness and just for life just for having breath he has a song called i got my breath and he recorded that during you know his his fight and it's just it's he his life it will his life and his testimony will transform millions of lives um i still believe that i still pray that And I hope that you all do have a chance to listen to his music. It will be in the show notes. And he truly um, has changed my outlook on life, my outlook on faith. Um, He has strengthened, helped. He's one of the influences, one of the major impacts. He is one of the people in my life who has made a major impact on my life through his purpose through his um, testimony through his trial through his tribulation like he is a true and i say is because he is still living he is still living through his music through his testimony he is with our heavenly father but he continues to live on through his legacy which was the legacy of gratitude the legacy of um kindness the the legacy of light god's light so i'm just happy to share this with you all today i really hope that you listen to his music i hope that it blesses you and i will talk to you guys next time on friday